Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So firstly, before I begin this video, I want to say happy holidays, merry Christmas to those who are celebrating. If you don't, then I hope you have a nice holiday season anyway. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the effects tool in your layers in Medibang specifically, as you can probably tell by now. It is important to add this disclaimer onto most Medibang videos that I do. I have noticed that the difference between Medibang on Android and Apple devices can be quite severe. So it's important to remember that it might not look exactly the same for you, and you might need to do more digging around or use slightly different methods if you are on an iOS device. So firstly, you're going to want to have a layer that you want to use the effects on. There are two effects that you can set. So firstly, we're going to get a layer for those. Here I have some squiggles that I have set up right here, which we are going to use as a demonstration. You can see the effect area is right here. It says effect and then this big square with none in it. If you click the none, you'll be brought into this menu here. Again, if it's none, then it will just have nothing on there. But if you click the none again, it will take you into this small menu. There are only two effects and you can't scroll down, unfortunately, but these two are pretty cool. So we're going to have a look at them. Firstly, let's go with the watercolor edge. You'll see that once you choose an effect, you can indeed choose the width and strength that you want. We'll keep it with the default for right now, but we will come back in in a second and change it up just to see how it looks when it's different. So click set and then you will see your effect be set. This one essentially gives the edges of all your drawings little lines, sort of like inbuilt line art as you can see. Then if we go back into the effect section and click on none again, it will get rid of the effect as you can see. Going back in again, let's choose the watercolor edge cloudy. This is basically the same thing, but it is a lot more intense and a little bit blurry. Now I'm going to go back into the normal watercolor edge and I'm going to up the width to 5 pixels and lower the strength and see how different it looks. As you can see, this is a lot more subtle and there's a lot more of it, so there's less unaltered space. Of course, this may look different with other larger areas on the layer, so I did these larger blots and you can see that the change is just barely there. So the change in strength is essentially just a change in opacity for the effect. Messing around with these is really, really fun. And I like the difference between the watercolor edge and the watercolor edge that is cloudy. Personally, I think a smaller width is best, but it depends how large your areas are. For example, it won't change depending on the area that it's going around. It will just all be the same rough width. Up in the strength to 100 and putting it back on 3 again. You'll see it's a lot easier to see, but again, a lot smaller. So this seems to kind of work like an automatic line art sort of thing, and I, honestly I'm not super duper sure what this could be used on. I think it could definitely work in backgrounds and maybe for making some writing look nice, but in terms of drawing I am not entirely sure. It could probably be used for some nice patterns though. Now this is the kind of thing where it isn't permanent, so as soon as you don't want this effect or you've decided that you don't like it, you can just click back on the effect and go back to none and then set it again. Which is really refreshing because you find a lot with these sorts of apps, there isn't just a off button, it'll be more like a permanent action that you'd have to press back on. So it's nice to know that there's always that option for Medibang. And you can see here this is just the default now. It is on any layer and I believe it can change pretty much anything, although I haven't tried it with most things. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed and if you did maybe consider supporting. Happy holidays and goodbye.